How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a brief explanation on how to build a custom drum kit inside of Ultrabeat. Fun stuff. So let's get right into it. I don't want to waste time. Uh, I have Ultrabeat already loaded in on my channel strip and I just opened it up. And my default kit is going to be loaded right when I open it and it has all these samples in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we want to do is get a completely blank slate so we can start adding in our samples. Now to do that, it's easy enough. Uh, Ultrabeat has this really nice uh, kit. Uh, it's called drag and drop samples. Now what it is is pretty much a blank template. We can do anything to this because there, I mean, this is, you can add samples to this very easily because there is nothing loaded in to begin with great fun stuff so what we can see is down here in this oscillator 2 region we are on the sample um, tab and it says no sample loaded if you left click on here and select load sample it will open up the file directory now usually um, I am in my sample library uh, that I have but uh, when you just open it up in a brand new logic file or yeah in a brand new logic file it will come up with a whole list of samples um, from Ultrabeat that some of them aren't even used in different um, some of them aren't even used in the actual kits so there's a lot of great samples there to begin with so please check those out but if you do have your own sample library uh, you can definitely take advantage of that as you can see I have some wave files in here that I can select and play so we, when, once we select them we can see that the waveform is being loaded into our oscillator too now a couple things you're going to want to know right off the bat is that this oscillator 2 goes into this filter region this filter region goes into this output region this is going to be the power amplifier I guess you can call it this is what's going to be adding the volume to uh, your main track and so this no this knob right here controls the main output volume and so you're going to want to edit this volume so that this kick is not going to be clipping on your main track and that it will sound normal when you put more samples in when you put a snare in and some hi-hats and some cymbals and whatever you want you want this kick to be mixed nice nicely in with the rest so I would suggest taking it down a little bit I'm going to play this and make sure that I have a decent volume You can see you can see down here at my output that it was about halfway up. That's about decent. When you start adding in snares and cymbals and whatever, uh, it's going to be uh, a decent mix. So uh, there you are. I put a kick in the sample one slot. I can double click this and put kick. Enter. And it will have the... So I can always, so I can always refer back and say that this strip is my kick and now another thing I want to go over quickly is this envelope region on our main output here it says um, we're modulating it by the envelope 4 and down here it has envelope 4 selected now all that I really want to say about this is that um, if you uncheck the sustain button you can uh, edit the you can edit the length of your wave file. Okay. So I'm just going to play this. I'm going to show you exactly what happens when I increase and decrease uh, this envelope. Okay. Okay. So when sustain is not on, we can affect the length of the wave file by using this envelope 4 down here in the envelope section. Fun stuff. If you don't want to mess with this, um, just make sure that the sustain button is pressed. Okay. So now that we have this kick all set up, what we can do is we can just keep adding more and more samples until uh, even all of these are full. 
and then we can come up here to the drop down menu and we can save this setting. Now once you save this setting, you can get at the this custom kit in any logic uh, file that you want and the, uh, the kits that you save are going to be located between the delete setting and your uh, folders containing all of your kits. I have this custom setting kit that I was just practicing on um, seeing where it would end up and what would happen if I saved a setting. I've never actually done this before and um, I created this one earlier today and it even saves the uh, what you make or if, if you make a beat in say this first spot it will save that beat and you can open it up in any file that you want so this is a great way to create beats and then if you want to transfer them over to another file easily enough just save it as a setting and then you can put it in and then you can just open it up in whatever file you want easy enough and so this is just a custom um, sequence that I made from earlier today uh, simple enough all it had there was only four um, four channel strips with uh, actual samples loaded into them I was just keeping it really simple just to see what would happen what would happen and uh, it's it's pretty neat so use this um, as much as you'd like it's drag and drop samples inside of the drum kits and then you can just load in samples and uh, affect the timing with the envelope 4 and the volume here at the uh, main output and that's basically all you really need to know to create your own custom kit so it's great it's great so everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Mitchell with another Logic Tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe like usual, because you are the boss. I know you are. So, um, I probably better get studying. Peace out.